What's up, animators, and welcome to On The Go, a series where I show you short but useful animator tips within 5 minutes. Today we're talking about name tags, they're pretty simple, let's begin. I just want to add a Steve Boyo. This guy's gonna have a name tag. Now usually in my animations I tell you to put stuff in folders because it's easier to animate them this way. And I usually do that because it is very simple. And now this can be used to animate flips and stuff. While this has a point in the ground so you can animate it. So you have the best of both worlds. The way you make name tags... Why did I have two of these? What the hell? The way you make name tags... I'm gonna add a... Plane. Make this plane always face the camera. This is gonna be the name tag. Lock this onto the Steve Boyo. Custom rotation point zero. Raise it up above his head. Scale it down on the Y. Scale it wide on the X if you need to. Why is it stretching so weirdly? <laughs> I don't think, I don't think I like this too much. Okay, let's try something else. Let's try adding a cube instead. Cube, lock it onto Steve Boyo. But this one's not gonna be facing the camera. Screw it. Just don't include face camera and animate it as you want. I'm gonna keep it this way because I'm lazy. Surface is gonna be called background. Put the brightness all the way up. Put the mix percent up. Drop the opacity to like... 40% or something? I don't know. You try to make the Minecraft interface. I like to go for more subtle stuff. So maybe 30. This is important. Be sure to raise the render depth at least by one. Because if you drop this down below, you're gonna glitch through the floor. We, we don't want that. Most stuff is put to zero. So if you put this to one, you're all safe. And now I just want to add a text. Uh, make this also face the camera and lock it on to the background. No, don't do that. Lock it onto the, the Steve boy just like you did before. Raise it up and give my name. There we go. Scale it down. Move it down even. They're not moving identically. What do I do now? Oh boy. That's not good. That's really not good. Okay, just uh, scale it on the Z. Wow, face the camera does not like scale, does it? Ooh. New plan. Open up paint.net. I ain't messing around anymore. Image. Resize. Make it square. Erase everything. Select a row. Fill it. Save this on your desktop. Name it. Background tab is gonna have a texture. Reset scale. Adjust scale again. Reposition. There we go. I'm not messing around anymore. So the scale values need to be identical to prevent deformations when it comes to facing the camera. I fixed it. Now raise the background's render depth to 2. Put the text render depth to 1. Increase the brightness and I hate the fact that it's still rendered before it. Okay, never mind. This is gonna have to work. Mr. Farts a lot is gonna be here. Now, one problem occurs uh, if Steve Boyo wants to rotate, this all breaks, right? Well, there's a simple, simple fix. Select the background and the text. Inherit rotation off. When Steve does a flip, this is not gonna rotate. You can animate it going up and down, but it is going to follow the character around. When he walks, when he does the turn, it's always going to be facing towards the camera. It's not gonna be rotating in any other way. It's just a bit of a problem when you do this because it goes inside him well you can just raise this up and it's gonna be fixed and that is pretty much it hope you guys enjoyed hopefully the microphone works because if it doesn't i'm gonna give it a proper slap because i've tried everything to get it working but i'm sure you let me know in the comments so thank you for watching hope this video was helpful goodbye